Hey there and welcome to Random Review Channel. So today's review is going to be this here little generic um, 10,400 milliamp hour allegedly uh, power bank. Okay, so it is one USB input, sorry to charge it, one output and it has this little power button which is an LED indicator in the top to tell you how charged it is. Now this one arrived with this dent in the side of it that is uh, probably some form of like zinc um, or aluminium uh, sort of casing on it and mine arrived dent, dented. Um, so some of the specs are it is allegedly a 5 volt 2 amp input um, or a 5.1 volt 2.1 amp output. The capacity is allegedly 10,400 milliamp hours or 37.44 watt hours. Um, I can't really comment on the milliamp hour capacity which I imagine is nowhere near that because most of these here little sort of generic ones aren't. The big gripe I have which makes this unusable for me is this here is the cable that came with it. Um, if I plug this in, now allegedly this here is a 2.1 amp output. So if I plug that into this device and plug it into my phone, as expected, it initiates the charge in the phone. So if I switch this off, this is sorry, this is just a crap phone. Um, you can see the charging light comes on. So you may think, happy days, my device is charging. Um, if I take that out and plug this in here, which is a USB um, voltage and amp detector. So this tells you then, for instance, if I plug this in here, this can be used in chargers and anything that has a USB input or in your computer, for instance, and it'll tell you what the voltage is from that USB port. So it's giving out 5.17 volts um, compared to the 5 volts, um, 5.1 volts is pretty close in terms of the output. So we're pretty much on the money. However, if I plug in here, I should expect to see if I just switch the screen off, I should expect to see this delivering 2.0 or 2.1, sorry, amps into the battery in this phone. So that means that the phone is drawing 2.1 amps out of this here uh, power bank to charge my phone. Now, the battery in these here is rated um, to 2 amps, so that would be no problem for this battery. Um, any device you have that has a fast charge function um, will be able to take 2 amps, no problem. This here is delivering about 0 0.4, 0 0.24 to 0 0.3 um, amps, which is so low that it would damage the battery. Um, it's incredibly low, and so much so that even though this says it's charging, it may actually be using more power to run the phone than what it's drawing from the battery to charge it, um, which means you get into this constant cycle of the battery trying to discharge and charge at the same time. Um, it's just not ideal and it will damage the, the lithium polymer batteries inside your devices. This here phone doesn't draw a lot of power, but if you were trying to use this here to say power a bigish tablet, like an iPad, uh, it comes with the iPhone, uh, sorry, the um, Apple connector as well. There's no doubt about it. Larger capacity batteries that have a higher sort of charge and discharge rating, a higher C rating, this here would definitely, definitely um, sort of damage them. And now it's actually dropped off, so it's not delivering any power. Um, which isn't a fault of the phone, it's actually the fault of this charger. I don't think it's the batteries. I haven't had it apart. There's no point taking it apart. It's pretty much scrap. Um, it's probably more the actual charging circuit in it um, is uh, not allowing enough enough current to be through the battery. So, uh, sorry, through the circuit and into the phone. So overall, not great. I've used some generic forms of these here in the past, but this here is probably one of the poorest that I've used, which is a shame because um, it's quite a compact form form sort of factor and uh, it was cheap as chip so it's just a shame but uh, unfortunately unusable so um, thanks for watching I hope you liked the video and uh, I'll see you again soon